In this brief video, I'm going to show you how to set up an email parser at aweber.com that integrates with your Nanocast publisher account so that you can capture the name and email address of your subscribers for your RSS feeds or for your podcasts or for your paid clients for your products, services, and memberships and automatically send those subscribers to your AWeber autoresponder email list management account. So the first thing that you do when you log in AWeber is you would choose the list that you want to be working with from the drop down here. And right here you see I'm working with nanocast underscore news and the email address for this list would be nanocast underscore news at aweber.com. So once you've selected the list that you want, or of course you can create a new one, but once you've selected the list that you want to work with uh, for the specific subscription or product or service that you're going to be sending subscribers to, you select that, then you go up and you click on list settings and you'll see the options show up down here and the option you're going to look for is email parser. Then once you click on email parser, you'll pull up this page which shows all of the email parsers that are available uh, via aweber.com. And an email parser means that these services are integrated so that when there's a transaction at one of these uh, third-party sites, the subscription data will be sent to aweber.com and they will send it into your list. So you find in the parser list the Nanocast parser and then once you've found that you go over and you check uh, the active. You don't have to press save because it automatically saves it. So find Nanocast in the parser list and check active. Make sure that the the uh, list that you're using is selected in the change list here. Now you can use this for as many lists as you want, but for each list that you're going to be using for a Nanocast transaction where you want to send the name and email of the subscriber to, a, to an AWeber uh, autoresponder list, you need to make sure that you have selected each list individually and activated the Nanocast parser for each individual list. So they have to be activated one at a time for each list. And then what I want to show you real quick is here at Nanocast, um, it, this is in the edit list details. It's usually the second step of the uh, podcast or product or membership wizards. Um, in, the, in the list details, you'll see this option here, uh, the autoresponder email that you can enter in. And then you'll see the capture name on subscription form, capture email on subscription form. Now, this here, you only need to select this if you're wanting to capture the name and email on a form for something like a free podcast or RSS feed or you want to capture the subscriber data on the front end. If you enter in a an autoresponder email and you are, ha and this is a paid transaction, say it's via PayPal or via authorized.net or to checkout, we will actually harvest the name and email of your client and send that to Aweber for you. Uh, through the transaction that you process through the e-commerce system at nanocast.com. So you don't actually have to worry about capturing the name uh, or email in the subscription form unless it's a podcast or an RSS feed and, you, and it's something free, so you really want to force them to enter their name and email in order to get the podcast or RSS feed. This feature is also how you're able to, to personalize feeds, personalize memberships, and personalize podcasts. And so if you ch check this, you have the option here to require a name, uh, and require email. Now, by checking this, it will offer them the form. By requiring, it will uh, remind them that they need to fill in those fields before they can proceed. Um, again, th this part here is really only necessary if you're doing something for, say, a free RSS feed where you also want to capture the name and the email address so you can personalize and customize the field. And it's also great because when you capture the name and the, and the email, in addition to getting the RSS feed or the podcast subscriber, you can follow up with them via email and you can actually set up your RSS autoresponder in Nanocast or your podcast autoresponder in Nanocast to correspond with autoresponder messages in your email list. And you can also do real-time broadcasts down your RSS feed or podcast feed in Nanocast and you can follow that up with real-time broadcasts through your email list management system at aweber.com. So this is very handy. You don't have to use aweber.com, but aweber.com is fully integrated uh, with the Nanocast uh, email parser, as I showed you, and you can activate that in your aweber.com email list management account.